I'm Yana Dagbashan and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. Lydia Margosyan is the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia. Artsakh losing 112.5 megawatt hydropower plant as a result of the Azeri aggression. The vaccination of 10% of the population of Armenia against coronavirus. Turkish flights to Azerbaijan reveal Erdogan's military plans. Moskovsky Kamsamolet. The Medavans Valley of Bitlis, Western Armenia, as a tourist attraction. Yazidi Theater after Arsene Plado. Lydia Margosyan was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia at the second session of the fourth convocation of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia on December 19, 2020. In this difficult period of international relations, Margosyan takes the difficult and responsible position of the Foreign Minister of Western Armenia. At the same time, her rich experience in the field of diplomacy will be an invaluable and wavy contribution to the foreign policy of our country. We wish Margosyan success in her responsible activities for strengthening the foreign policy positions of Western Armenia. The message of the newly appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs will be available in all languages on our website. The Artsakh Republic lost 112.5 megawatts of hydroelectric power as a result of the war unleashed by Azerbaijan. As reported by Armen Press, the Deputy Minister of Territorial Administration and Infrastructure of the Republic of Armenia, Hakob Vartanyan, mentioned during the sitting of the Standing Committee on Regional and Eurasian Integration of the National Assembly. There were 187.5 megawatt hydropower stations in the Artsakh Republic before the war. As a result of the war, 75 megawatt hydropower plants were left. The loss was 112.5 megawatts. That number includes Sarsang Hydroelectric Power Station with 50 megawatts, four hydroelectric power stations with 12 to 13 megawatt capacity, and one 12 megawatt hydroelectric power station, Vartanya said. The deputy minister mentioned that according to the initial energy balance of 2021, Armenia would import 330 million kilowatts an hour of electricity from the Artsakh Republic. However, after the well-known event, this energy will be replaced by electricity produced with the expense of Armenia's internal resources, which will be more expensive than electricity imported from Artsakh. It is planned to vaccinate 10% of the population of Armenia against coronavirus. The vaccine will be firstly available to groups with the highest risk. The deputy of the general director of the National Center for Disease Control and Prevention of the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Armenia, head of the National Immunization Program, Gayane Saakyan, reported. According to the expert, negotiations are currently held on vaccines from the Russian Sputnik V, P Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna and AstraZeneca, as only the effectiveness and safety of these four have been proven during research. In December, January, observers recorded an activity of Turkish transport aircraft in the skies of Azerbaijan. The air bridge between the two countries operates round the clock, and military loads arrive at Azerbaijani army airports across the country. Experts believe that Turkey intends to establish several military bases in the Caucasus, but Baku denies this information. Moskovsky Kamsamolis writes, According to the Flight Radar 24 service, in the last few weeks the Turkish Air Force has confirmed the uninterrupted supply of goods to Azerbaijan. Turkish military transport planes deliver goods to the Azerbaijani airports of Gabala, Lankaran and Ganja. The airline flies around the clock, while some planes fly three or four times a day. Experts believe that Turkish military bases will be established in the Transcaucasian region based on the activity of the Turkish Air Force. However, the Azerbaijani Defense Ministry denied this information. The military department did not comment on the activities of the Turkish Air Force in Azerbaijan. The 17-kilometer-long Madavans Valley in the province of Ahlat, Bitlis, Western Armenia, which has a history of thousands of years and 400 cave houses, is to become one of the region's most attractive tourist destinations due to restoration and landscaping. The goal of the project is to pass on the traces of history to the next generations by restoring the cave houses in the valley. It is planned to build hiking trails, viewing platforms, camp areas and entertainment venues there. About 400 cave houses and places of worship were found during a research in the valley that has historically hosted many civilizations. The Beside the Yazidis initiative will soon present the first War and Love play of the Yazidi theater after the pantomime master Arsene Paladov. The play is dedicated to the memory of the Yazidis killed during the Artsakh war. 
The author of the script is the founder of the Beside the Yazidis initiative, Greta Alexanian, and the director is the artistic director of the Machanens Theater, Kevork and Zababakhanyan. Greta Alexanian told in a conversation with Arabot.am. Beside the Yazidis is an educational and cultural initiative, a part of which is the creation of a Yazidi theater. According to her, there have been some Yazidi plays and performances in Armenia, but the theater named after the founder of the Armenian state pantomime theater, Arsen Paladov, is being established for the first time. Now we present you Oror by Karin. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Illumina TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.